My name's Dead Pallet, and we're going to read Holders of Nature. Holders of Nature is a story in the series of、uh, ritual pastas called the Holder series. If you don't know what that is, check out my previous video on the Holders of Ash and Smoke down in the description below. And we're going to get into this story. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, cover your ears and ask the worker to see the one who calls himself the Holder of Nature. If you didn't cover your ears. Pray to any and every god you know for relief of what comes next. The worker will stand up and begin to yell in an unknown language, in a voice more filled with an evil than Satan or any other demons in his legion. To hear his voice clearly would corrupt. Your mind instantly, leaving you to suffer a pain far greater than the fires of hell for the rest of your life. Even if your、uh, ears cover, even with your ears covered, your head will feel as if you are in flames. Whilst the workers speak his evil in his evil tongues, when he fi is finished, wait ten seconds before uncovering your ears, for the evil still lingers in the air. After ten seconds, uncover your ears and put your hands on your forehead, saying, "In the beginning." Okay, so there's nothing too nature-related about、uh, the the holder of nature so far.、Uh, hopefully, that that will change in in the near future. I hope that there is more to this that is nature-based. But this was some downright demonic shit. Like, what if you go to like Popeyes and they're out of like the chicken sandwich you want, and then you start saying shit like this, where you're just like, "You will know the pain of a thousand Satan sons for, for, for eternity, and your head will explode, and I will bring upon the like all of this shit."、Uh, it's it's a.、Uh, It's not as fun as the the smoke and ash one that I just read. As you finish saying this, the worker will open his mouth, and a portal will appear. Oof!、Uh, should you step through this portal fearfully, he will close it, and you are only halfway. You're only halfway though, trapping your soul in the dark abyss that connects the dimensions for all eternity.、Uh, again, not as thrilled with this. It's um. It's the idea of a portal being in a mouth is pretty cool, but the 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 dark abyss kind of stuff little generic for my taste. There's a lot more creative stuff that I've seen from the Holder series, so my expectations are a little higher.、Uh, this this is kind of the stuff that I don't like about the Holder series is when it kind of gets when it's using the word abyss essentially. Uh, if you make it through safely, though, you will find yourself in a garden. Now, now we're getting some nature—a garden more beautiful and lush than any forest or jungle known to man, demon, or angel. The garden seems to stretch on for infinity, and in front of you, you will see a path. Follow it, but do not stray. For if you do, the beast of the garden will attack and begin to slowly tear the layers of off your of your body off over what seems to be an eternity, and you will be conscious for all of it. Well, I would assume so. This this it sounds like we've entered the Garden of Eden or something along those lines. That sounds pretty cool. I would like to go there. That sounds fun. Kind of wish we got a little bit more of this earlier on, just a touch of it. But the, these are this is the strongest part of the the ritual so far. After what seems what may seem anywhere from five minutes to five months of walking, you will come upon a quaint home. Knock on the front door, and if you should hear a voice saying, "You're not welcome here, stranger," get out of here, stalker. Stranger, strange, many memes they can be made out of that joke.、Um, there is no hope for you. No praying will save you here. Your death will be horrible. If you hear a voice saying, "Please come in,"、uh, you may open the door and go in.、Uh, he has welcomed you. So apparently, you just got like a fifty-fifty shot here. The, the, there's not as not the risk reward you get in other places, where if you do everything right and you. Uh, you know, have the test of nerves, the test of patience, and all of that stuff. You're good. Here, you just got a fifty-fifty shot. 
which is unfortunate. Maybe this one is more important, uh, but it seems more random than the other ones. I'm, I'm not so, so happy about that. Uh, inside you will see an old man in a rocking chair reading by the fire. He will only respond to one question. What started it all? The man will begin to change his shape right in front of you. His The wrinkles on his face and arms will begin to fade, and his muscles will begin to take shape as he's getting much younger. He will stand up and ask you to come in. Don't. Uh, as mu Sweetie, don't. Uh, as, mu as much as he may tempt you to do so, do not. Uh, when he asks you this, stare directly into his eyes, and without breaking eye contact, oh shit, I fucked up, inquire once more. I started it all. Hmm, come on. Tell me. I want to know. Don't give me that shit. Once you say this again, the fire will jump from the fireplace and surround the man. He will begin to speak in a voice as loud as the roaring sea, yet as soft as a gentle breeze. He will explain the beginning of life, where babbies come from, the objects, and all of the universe. When he is finished, the fire will recede, and the man will be gone. In his place will be a marble on the floor. And this marble is as red as fire, yet as blue as the sea. It is some sort of hybrid between the color red and the color blue. It's some sort of rube or blurple. Uh, as clear as the wind, but as black as the earth. The Wait, what? The opposite of... So, like, the opposite of, of clear is not black. The opposite of clear is opaque. <laughs> Do not try to comprehend this marble. Okay, fair enough. For it will twist your mind into madness. Marbles of madness. <laughs> what, what are we? Some sort of marble madness? Beat your ass a bubble bobble. Pick up the marble and leave through the door you came through. You will be back in the main lobby of the institution. The marble is object... 64 of 538. You now control the elements. All right. So that was the holder of nature. Not um, the strongest holder that I've, I've ever read, but certainly not the weakest. Kind of middling for a holder story. Uh, parts of the ritual were kind of fun. The, the bit about going into the house, uh, the opening of the Garden of Eden, um, but let me know what you think about this one below. Please check out the Fear Fiction Podcast. Also, I have a Kofi.